Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Brandon Bam Bam Reels! Mile High Mike Alvarado! Good luck. Touch gloves. Let's go to work. Let's go, guys. Alvarado back out of the southpaw stance. Takes the first big shot of the fight from Brandon Rios. Rios is busier early on at the beginning of their first fight in Carson, California. Do I stand and fight and please these fans and do what I really want to do, or do I stick to the game plan and see if that works? Meanwhile, right, that's right. Left hook for Rios, doubling up with the left. A lot of times Rios don't get, doesn't get credit mid-range and in close. He's very crafty. Big right hand from Rios. I'm not sure he's ever deserved credit for his defense the way he deserves it right now. We've already seen some of that newfangled head movement he talked about. It's the rolling with punches. It's, it's, it's breaking shots down. Good work from Brandon right now. And Alvarado's busted up already and doesn't have an answer right now. This is a tremendous first round for Brandon Rios, who's been landing straight rights, jabs, uppercuts, left hooks and generally getting his way against Mike Alvarado. Alvarado has begun to open up in the last minute of the round, but it was all Brandon Rios. 29 were power shots. It was an all Brandon Rios round. So you heard Sean Billhauer, Alvarado's trainer, saying, we've got to get some more respect. Early in this round, he's not getting it yet. Sorry, Jim, Rios just hurt Alvarado with a right uppercut, and he's pouring it on right now. This is vintage Brandon Rio right here. Rios right here on the inside. Vicious, vicious body puncher. This is vintage Brandon Rios against an opponent who, at least in terms of his previous reputation and activity, hasn't yet shown up for this fight tonight. Alvarado switching to a southpaw stance and now staying in the southpaw stance. Tried to land a right jab, went over the top of Rios' head. And switches back to the conventional stance and gets clocked by Rios and Alvarado's knees wobbled. And Rios has him in trouble with a minute and a half to go in round two. In between game plans, he doesn't know if he wants to box. He doesn't know. And that is a low blow. If Alvarado wanted to stop the rally, that's one way to do it. And he got away with it because Jay Nady isn't going to penalize him off of just one low blow. But here comes Rios again. And he can still find the target just as easily as before. Landing that uppercut over and over. Alvarado finally lands a solid left hook. Best punch he's thrown so far. And Rios comes back, making rain, and there's a hard left hook. Punishing Mike Alvarado right now. Power connects for Brandon Rios. No one who saw Mike Alvarado's astonishing come from behind victory over Bredis Prescott, but if this continues the way it's been so far, it's a matter of how long and when, not who. Because the difference between this fight and the other two fights is, is Alvarado had more action early. He set the tone. He's not setting any tones right now. Rios is setting the tone, and he's brutalizing Mike Alvarado, and Mike Alvarado may not be able to recover from this. We've had a series of uppercuts for both the right and the left hands of Rios, landing flush. He's landed a couple of body shots, and basically trying to pile up enough punishment to knock Alvarado out. Uh, to the body and the head, uh, very tough and very difficult to deal with to start taking a hard look at Mike Alvarado because he's not responding to the punches of Brandon Rios. Alvarado has the look on his face. Are you okay? All right, watch. Jay nate has got to take a close look here. He didn't wait for an answer when he said, are you okay? I have no idea what the answer really would Stop. have been. Break. No, I'm getting the living. Dickens kicked out of me. Had to search for the word. <laughs> Even though 
small shots that Rio's landing with those small gloves on, they're punishing it's to the body, to the head, the liver, uppercuts to the chin. That's a quick left hook by Brandon Rios. And a jolt to the system when he lands it. Alvarado lands a right hand, momentarily backs Rios off. Rios comes back to the right of his own, and now the fight has begun. How many do you see? You call time out, right? No! Okay, he's more. Ray Ward, take us through it. This is vintage Brandon Real. Short uppercut, short left hook inside. Beautiful right uppercut. Gets a little room. Short left hook. Missed the right uppercut, but the damage was already done. Down goes Mike Alvarado. The winner by TKO victory, and now the WBO International Welterweight Champion, Brandon.